So good all and welcome to the South African Loop. Okay, Lacker, welcome to another video, guys. And step number three, or whatever, the next step of this building a backyard putting green um, is underway. Uh, so what we're doing here today is we're putting down some sand in which I want to grow my uh, Ben Cross Media. Okay, so I'm gonna show you today how to turn this into this. Oh, it didn't work, into this. Didn't work again. Hold on, let me try something else. Sim, sala, bim. Hey, that's better. So yeah, if you'd like to see me do this, um, maybe stick around for the next few minutes and I'll show you what I do. Oh, don't worry, this is, this is part of the hard work. Right, so as you'll see, uh, we're busy compacting the edges here. Um, we, we laid the irrigation lines or we dug the trenches. Uh, for the irrigation lines and the reason why we're compacting that is because obviously when you've got that fluffy soil it tends to obviously um, settle down after time and lower and that's something that we obviously don't want uh, after we've put down our sand okay in the same breath we also don't want to over compact and that's the reason why I'm only compacting the edges because the, the soil here in the middle area is actually fairly settled in over the last two three four weeks actually um, so I'm just compacting the edges um, to ensure that those areas don't fall down and the reason why I don't want to over compact that's why I'm not compacting the middle area is because um, compaction equals poor drainage okay and bent grass doesn't like wet feet really um, so you really want to try and control your moisture levels um, with bent grass they really don't like stagnant water I don't think that'll be an issue but it'll be only uh, be able to tell you in a year's time or so whether that's going to be an issue or not so that's the reason why we're doing this okay so as you can see all compacted and ready for the sand um, and a couple of reasons why i want to um, grow my seed in sand okay so i've gone with this method of adding a thin layer of sand over soil and the reason i want soil below my green hold on let's let's quickly just recap um, golf courses use sand only they use probably about two three about 300 mils of sand about a foot deep of sand only in which they grow their bent grass um, for golf greens um, and it makes it fairly difficult to retain water because obviously water falls straight through the sand and for the same reason it's difficult to maintain nutrient levels and that's why they're fertilizing very frequently and that's the reason why i'm going with actually a soil base and the top layer of sand um, because obviously soil will hold on to water a lot better and soil will hold on to nutrients a lot better the only downside to this is as i've just said is maybe um, water drainage so we're going to add sand to this area today um, and the reason why i like the top layer of sand almost forgot to say that um, is because of the playability of the surface if you actually putt um, sand will be a lot easier to get very very level um, so i'm adding this beautiful sand let's go to the sand actually and figure this out once again we're doing it with buckets unfortunately i've got stairs there so it's very difficult to actually access this part with a um, wheelbarrow uh, but i've got this beautiful beautiful uh, sand in which i'm going to grow my seeding just have a look i'm going to see if i can get a close up here screen very fine i think it's about one and a half more uh, screened washed sand here um, so yeah, I think that's going to be lacquer. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see on this camera of mine, uh, but this is basically what I'm doing. I've got this steel rake right here. Um, and I'm gonna go and get my lawn leveler now, but you don't necessarily need that, especially on a small area like that. I'm just gonna get my lawn leveler. I think it's gonna work um, a little bit faster and maybe a little. I know, yes, he fall here, I'll my turn. I know. Here he Through the valley. Okay, yeah, so um, I think the lawn leveler is just gonna work a little bit more smoother. Sorry, luckily I didn't swear. Um, 
and I think I'm gonna it's gonna level it out a little bit better uh, but I'm not gonna make a big thing of this adding soil to something isn't the biggest job I think the actual trick will come in afterwards building my slopes and actually um, getting this thing to a respectable slope level obviously you don't want to have crazy slopes which you can't putt or play on um, so that's my whole purpose I'm, I'm trying to think like um, you know I don't know who Peter Matkovich or some crazy golf designer you know that's what I want to try and keep in mind. Be creative, but don't be stupid. Okay. Yeah, I tell you what, this thing is just the flippin' bomb when leveling if you ever think of like working with soil uh two or three times a year build yourself one of these or buy this thing i promise you it'll make your life so much like a flipping pool table I'm making this layer fairly thick, actually thicker than I wanted to. I wanted to do it about, I don't know, about 30, 40 mil. And there, like on those areas right there, um, it'll be difficult to see on camera, but I can assure you that this is uh, probably about seven, yeah. No, mind you, it's probably about 60 or 70 mil now. Maybe a little bit thinner would be great. Yanni, yes. I can't do this work alone anymore. I'm just too lazy, you know. I've still got this. Can you see that? The lockdown stomach. The lockdown tummy. Some of the people are still asking how many weeks. And then they realize I'm a guy. Mm. Yeah. I'm just too lazy. Check out, I'm sweating. I'm hardly doing anything. If I wasn't here, I would have been. Klar. Stuck in. Well, I'm stuck in already and I'm not even doing much. have a look guys I think it looks flipping awesome I'm obviously not nearly done leveling yet um, still a lot of leveling to do um, and I must say I don't, I don't know why but I think the natural slope of this um, yard of mine is going to provide such a good um, slope to the green as well uh, I don't think you'll be able to see it but right on this edge here there's a slope feeding towards the middle of the green and then it flattens out and I might change a little bit um, of it later on, but I think I must just get myself a cold drink, sit down and have a look at it first to see whether this looks like a natural um, playing surface, you know, especially when I'm chipping from this direction. You know, is it, is it going to be, is it going to be nice, you know, otherwise um, I was thinking of, of building an edge on that um, lower end of the yard, that side, uh, but I'm worried about that because that might um create puddling when irrigating or when it's raining um and that i really don't want i want it to obviously drain as fast as possible just have a look yeah it's a fairly big slope i don't think you'll be able to see it but i promise you a two and a half two and a half three meter putt would probably turn 
I'm guessing a ball outside the right, which is quite a lot of break. Um, so I don't think I should make the slopes more aggressive. I think, if anything, flatten it out a little bit more. See what I'm saying? Now, like that thing really swung quite a lot. I mean, uh, if you're following back the line of this putt, it came all the way in this direction and ran there. So, uh, like this. Crazy stuff. Yeah, um, so it all depends on how fast your green is, obviously, as well. Hopefully, I can get it to like um, 13 on the stimp. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe like 6 or 7 <laughs> will be more realistic. Then I think this green slope would be just perfect. Yeah, so I probably dragged this in for the last uh, hour or so. Um, as you can see, the sun is busy setting a beautiful May afternoon. But let me just show you the results I came up with. And the one big issue I've got here at the moment is um, the sand was very, very wet when I picked it up. Um, luckily, I'm paying um, in volume, not in weight, because there was tons of water in it and almost literally tons uh, but let me just show you what i've been doing for the last hour or so yeah don't worry guys i saw this black stuff on my head um but i thought you know it's testament of how hard i'm working here um i'm getting this laziness out and it's actually the color that this aluminium gives off i should really just give that a scrub it'll probably re reduce it but it's all natural have a look there is it nice Yeah, so as you can see, this is proof from this aluminium stains on my hand. And I've been doing this for the last hour or so. And as I went on, I could literally feel how much firmer this, the actual sand gets. Um, just because of me walking on it and it's settling down. Um, the only problem is, obviously, like I said, it was wet when I obviously uh, picked this up. And it's struggling to dry out at the moment. I actually left it for about a half an hour and it didn't dry out. Um, I actually wanted it to dry out so it becomes a little bit more powdery and just forms a little bit better because what's happening now at the moment is um, it's not forming clumps but it's sitting and as you're dragging it it just drags this whole thing together instead of this actually falling into like the low areas right there that my heel is creating and whatever is creating um, so I think I'm basically going to wrap this up right here um, yeah I think there's one more thing that I'm going to do today is I'm going to get my um, cylinder mower. I'm going to get all the excess sand off the screen at the moment. And I'm just going to roll it in a couple of times. I go straight over it so that heavy rear and front roller actually pushes the, the sand down. Because I want to get it as, not as firm as possible, but I want to get it fairly firm. So that it doesn't make too much indentations. Guys, absolutely great progress in my opinion. Um, it looks flipping awesome. And I tell you what, I think majority of this green is actually ready for seeding. There's one trouble area right here, which is very soft. Um, I added a lot of sand there and this mower keeps pushing it. So it's not really compacting there at the moment. So I'll spend a few moments there and just try and get that compact. And I think the rest will be done in uh, two or three days. Um, I'm gonna water it now and then I would really really love for it 
to dry the top layer out. The top, I would say five to 10 mils I need to, need it to dry out so I can really, really get it smooth. But um, looking from this, this direction, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, looks flipping awesome. Really, really looks awesome. I don't know if the level will show up here, uh, but just have a look at how nice that looks, guys. Um, absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. Guys, so I think that's going to wrap up this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, if you don't mind, if you want people to see this, share this video so many people can see it. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. This really helps it rank up in YouTube and so on. Um, so yeah, I really, really do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy this uh, project green. Uh, we're going to do some cuckoo videos still before the winter. Maybe it'll come out before this one comes out. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now. Bye-bye. I just flip and dig this blue face. I think... Look a bit like Avatar. Sneaky green. Yeah, I'm sensing a little bit of conflict between me and me and this one. Um, Hold on. Yeah, so it's uh, it's the first day after I put the sand down and I walked out here last night after I watered it and it smoothed it out so beautifully. I literally got so excited because it was like so, it was super, super smooth. And then, uh, and then now. Um, yeah, so it makes you want to I don't know, just give give the dog a little bit of a, a neck twist. Just, I don't know, finish it. That's just my opinion.